thank you for watching, and this is the Progressive Gardener. I'm working on my spearmint patch today. And what you want for spearmint is a good trowel. Make sure it has a good handle, like this one. Um, you probably have to spend about 10 15 for this, because this is tempered steel. This is the spade part. It also has a cutting edge right here. As you can see. So, this is a very good tool for gardening. And these are my, these are my experiments. Um, they're about a month old. Uh, maybe two. Uh, what you want to do is give them a very rich soil amendment. And you want to supply them with adequate amounts of water. Um, or else you won't get good results. Also, you want the soil to be black, like this. See what nice soil this is. Uh, I like to use grow mulch or uh, nitrohumus, but these are the type of results you'll get uh, using Miracle Grow and using nitrohumus. You want to keep the soil aerated. That means keeping it dug so that your plants' roots get an adequate supply of air. Uh, other than that, the uh, spear, spear, these are spearmint. Now there's peppermint and there's spearmint. Uh, peppermint is not one of my favorites, but uh, spearmint is uh, much more fragrant. It doesn't have quite the, uh, the peppery taste to it, <laughs> if you'd like to say. Um, but anyway, they require a lot of nitrogen. I like to use uh, miracle Grow. Um, also, sometimes I'll give them a flowering compound for good root growth. And uh, like I say, you don't want them to get root bound. You want to constantly be tilling the soil to get good results. Especially in an area like Marietta because it's very hot here and the soil dries out very quickly. So, anyway, these are good for mint juleps <laughs> or uh, just for the fragrance. But anyway, these are my mint plants, and um, I'll have more in the future. Thank you very much. This is Ken Laffler. Thank you for watching.